The ISL is back with a vengeance after the international break. Kerala Blasters looking to confirm their place in the playoffs with a win, but they'll need to be at their very best. Provat Lacra at right back. So, fairly steady lineup. We know a lot's expected of Jeremy Mann. With Roy Krishna. Yeah, 4 4 2 formation. He's not changing that at all, but he is changing the personnel. But that thrilling match against Mun began last time out when they were beaten by four goals to three. They're certainly entertaining as the Blasters. Goals in the opening game on this double header Super Saturday. But this one promises much. Will it deliver over the next 90 minutes? It's Dimitri Diamantakos that gets us underway. As Kerala will kick from right to left in the first half. Looking for the result, the three points that will get them into the playoffs once again. Is Ayman. Justine. Raul KP, Justin gets the shot away first time, but plays it wide. We've seen him five times off the bench, but it's a first start for the Nigerian tonight. In fact, it'll be Leskovic. Well, it's way over the top from Adrian Leskovic. From the off, stabbed in towards Severio. Sanan, it's poor defending. That's much better from Drinic. Body on the line, Sandip was the player with the initial error. Comes out to Manzoro! Took a deflection behind for a corner. That was going on target, but Drinic, brilliant clearance. Box. Great Ashikawa. Here is Severio. Narrowly wide. When he does get a sight at goal, but doesn't hit the target. Ray Ashikawa heavily involved again in the build-up. Raul KP. Justin. Diamantikos. You cannot give him an inch inside the box. That lethal left foot will punish you. And he's done so once again. And the Kerala Blasters take the lead. It's unlucky 13 for Jamshedpur. It's lucky 13 for Kerala, who've taken the lead in this vital, vital game as they look to book a place in the playoffs. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. And it was that danger man, Diamantakos. Picking up that loose ball, and they weren't picking up Raul KP, who does the right thing. Just feeds it inside. Yes, they get a little bit lucky, but it's the intent from Justin to find the danger man, Diamantikos, who drives it home. Looking to mount a run as well. Severio. Cross goal and wide of the target once again from the Spaniard. Pratik stabs away again, Neocha. Trying to get to the byline, gets away from Nikhil. Brilliantly bought, played across. Good defending, though, again by Laldin Poya, who just did enough. Well, that's given away almost by TP Renesh. Oh, Diamantikos has gone down injured now. Well, Diamantikos, so it's uh, just gone wide this time. Chernik was in there as well. It was Stanish Farouk that went down, not Diamantikos, but. Certainly times his tackles well. El Senio, lovely ball forward. It's Javier Severio! Finds a way through this time. Karanjit got a touch, but he goes underneath the goalkeeper. And the blasters have been opened up at the back by a piece of brilliance from El Senio, who picked out Severio. And this time, the Spaniard does find the finish. It's 1-1 on the stroke of half-time, and Kerala will have to start again in the second half. Super response just before half time, and it came from another long ball from the midfield. This time, El Sino broke that back line and saw Severio make a super run right across. And he slowed himself down and measured that one and bounced it. Sana. Ray. Severio appeals away. Ray went for goal and almost caught out Karanjit. He just adjusted his body well to make the save. But... Diamond. Free kick taken quickly, Sanan's in behind, but flags up for offside. Severio waving his arms to say no, it is the final action of what was a, a first half played at a frantic pace. Demetrius Dimantakos, 13th goal of the season, put the Kerala Blasters ahead with another clinical finish beyond TP Rehene. Jamil up in the stand, but I'm sure he'll be pleased with the comeback that he side showed in that first half. All of these games in this first match week, and in fact the rest of the games, real quality out there. Here come Kerala. Jamshedpur is looking towards Severio. Imran Khan coming up in support as well. Nobody in the middle. Imran went for goal, went for that top corner near post, but. Good along that line. And this is a great little spell for the Kerala Blasts. They're finding room. 
Raul KP, rise the challenge, can't hit the target. Raul KP, well, tries luck again here, and again misses the target. Majority of those guys on his side. Come out, gets a sighting, goal! Just over the top, clips the stanchion at the back, come off that's out. Almost an immediate impact from the substitute. Come the perennial substitute, hasn't it? And here he is on the ball now. But has to hit the ground running, coming on this late in the game. Bent into the path of Fedor Czernik. Weaving away through, it's Czernik! Inches away from what could have been a winning goal. Players is really, really strong. And they've got Chukwu, don't forget, to come into that mix as well. Surav, good ball, Diamantikos! Good save, Rahenesh. That could be a, a point-winning save for Jamshedpour. Needs some quality allowed to run by Ray Tashikawa. It's Manzoro, good ball, Stevanovic! Good save, Karanjit. Both goalkeepers called into action, end-to-end, -to, -end to finish the match. And what a chance that was for Stevanovic to atone for that yellow card. Brilliant by both goalkeepers. Him. Drinchic, Drinchic, slice wide. Out it is, Diamantikos straight into the wall as Pratik Mondal's whistle brings the game to a close. The Kerala Blasters are going to have to wait a while longer to guarantee a place in the playoffs. But Jamshedpur resilience shown once again by Khalid Jamil's side, having fallen behind, they are still very much in with a shout for the top six but we're no nearer to knowing who's going to take the final two spots as yet. It opens the door maybe for Chennai, maybe for East Bengal.